am telling you right now. Ooh, I'm all for passport bros. If you want to go somewhere where they're going to love, respect you, cherish you, cook and clean, and they understand their roles, you should go somewhere where you're loved. Black women still want them a black man for the most part. Women, black women in particular, <laughs> we don't need y'all funky ass. <laughs> okay? Black men are giving black women AIDS at a very high rate. You're right. We don't need black men. Oh. We are the most educated demographic in this country right oh. now. We have started more business than any demographic in this country right now. We're doing great. We don't need anyone. We was never going to date you anyway. Usually it's black men because black men are the only ones who seem to have a difficult time with, you know, caring for someone other than themselves. All they asking for you to do is provide, be a leader, and be a protector. And if you can't ask any of the male contacts then for money, yes, it is time. Block, 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 block. The wax lady, your hairstylist, your landlord, your phone bill. Payment method is not good morning what you're doing. This is why, ladies, if you're going to ask a man for money, don't say that you're behind on rent. Don't say you're behind on your car note. Do not use the struggle situation to get money from men, okay? Stick to hair, stick to nails, stick to looking pretty, stick to maintenance. Don't ask a man for rent money because he's going to think that you need him, okay? He's going to treat you like crap because he's going to think that, oh, I paid her rent. She's never going to leave me. I can do whatever I can to her. No, 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 no. Do not ask these men for rent money. Don't say, I'm behind on my rent. I'm behind. E even if that is the case, make it look like you are put together. Do not let these men know that you are struggling in whatever situation oh. that you are in. Do not let these men know. How can you, a woman, take your money and spoil a man? When I'm in a relationship, I don't believe in spending my money on my man. His money is for me. My money is oh. for me. If you don't feel like you can help out with me and my kids, then we don't have anything to talk about. Um, I'm adding myself. So... <laughs> that's all i have for you i i don't bring anything to i don't have anything to bring to a table i'm supposed to be beautiful yeah, for my man i'm not supposed to be the be slave that for all you pick me shoes out there cooking and cleaning and making your boyfriend's giant plates of food ask yourself why are you doing all these things that wives barely even do so in order for you to get a man with money you need to look like money and know how to package yourself like money if a guy is looking to tickle your fancy let him spend some money. It's guys out there who want you, right? But won't spend a hundred dollars on you. But mad because you talk to a new dude who spend money on you. He spend money, you don't. I'm doing this both a favor. All they asking for you to do is provide for money. For money? Yeah. Money? And can you send me a hundred dollars? If he doesn't give you money, you need to leave him. You know, receiving two hundred fifty thousand dollars by wire transfer, darling. They want money. Ain't they don't need us? <laughs> make it make sense. But I am telling you right now. I hate for a man to know his word. Huh. I said, yeah, we don't like that. <laughs> around thinking he know his word. Oh, he too good for this. He too good for that. A man that know his worth ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I, me personally, I don't like that. What would you rank yourself <laughs> as far as looks on the scale from one to ten and you cannot use seven? I would say eight. Cam up. <laughs> Get on the camera. Yeah. Let's cam let's cam up. Show us. Cam up, cam up, cam up. <laughs> she just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and on your fortieth birthday, you set yourself a challenge, which was that you would sleep with forty oh. men in one, in day. one day. That was my birthday present for myself. <laughs> I'm surprised you'd walk after that. Bit of a sore back, but no, it's fine. And and do you, did you did 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 you did you oh. afterwards think you know what 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 am I doing? No, no. I had the most fantastic day. Um, afterwards, me and husband sat there then having a drink all night. <laughs> oh man, some of the birthday wishes. Women, 
women do fall in love through sex. And that's why whenever you hear someone like, oh, no, it's going to be casual. I don't actually like him. Like, I'm going to be a player too. Biochemically, that's really hard because we release oxytocin. Oxytocin is your bonding chemical. It's why you feel close after sex. It's why you feel close during cuddling. Guys, try to look it up so that you see what she's saying, whether she's... Uh... It's true. You see why men are worried about body count. Woman, ask yourself a question. What else can you offer apart from your private part? It's easy to play games on TikTok, turn your curves, your private part, shake your bum bum and provoke oh. men sexually. But what else can you offer Tell us. from that? Do you want attention? You want the man to have money, house, cars, businesses, patience, and all your attitude. But what else can you do? The devil! You think your private part equals all that. There is a great change coming. <laughs> all that play the game will experience the pain. And a time comes when your beauty and your sexiness will no longer be interesting. I can see, can see that. <laughs> what is that? Oh, please don't tell me that's what I think it is. <laughs> oh. Here's a quick note. If you're going to a Hispanic country, a Latin country, and you're looking for a lady to be your wife, don't go to the bar, don't go to the club, don't go to the billiards, don't go to the discotheque. Because the standard is uh, men who go there uh, with their buddies, with their guy friends, are looking for the wrong thing. Women who go there with their lady friends and things, they're looking for the wrong thing. Um, they're looking no. to get paid. Okay? So that's the... Uh, standard i don't care if it's mexico or colombia or whatever country there um women are selling and men are buying if you want to go you go with your dad you go with your mom you go with your sister you go with your cousin and uh you, you know that's how that goes okay so the question is how do i know if a guy really likes me uh -huh. or if he just wants some coochie but I feel like if you just want some coochie, you should just lead with that. Lead with, I want some coochie. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching and uh, let me see your comments in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. Yes, so, um, I'll see you in the next one.